Well, welcome back Pine Belt. It's been a really nice and clear day across the board. Pretty chilly out there, which is just a little bit below average for this time of year. But for right now, sitting around 45 degrees across the board over in Hattiesburg, calm winds over there. It's a really nice, clear evening all across the Pine Belt right now. Just one degree colder over in Laurel, feeling like 44 degrees out there. Now we haven't had any cloud cover all day and no cloud cover right now on the radar. It just will continue to be a really clear evening across the board as those temperatures continue to dip down towards the 30s over the next several hours. But for right now, sitting into the 40s out there again, very chilly out there right now, sitting at 48 over in Collins, 42 for Columbia and Foxworth, 45 in Hattiesburg and New Augusta, 43 over in Sand Hill and 44 over in Laurel. But like I said, as we go throughout the next five hours, temperatures are going to steadily dip down into the 30s. We'll eventually get down into the mid to low 30s across the board for those overnight lows, but it's going to continue to be a clear day, uh, evening into a clear day for tomorrow. At least the beginning part of tomorrow will be very clear and cold. We're going to start off into the 30s on Sunday morning. As we go throughout the day, though, cloud cover does push its way into the Pine Belt, and we'll be seeing temperatures into the 60s by the mid-afternoon. So that we do, we do start off into the 30s. We'll get into the 60s by the afternoon hours, making it feel a lot more comfortable, and that's actually right at average for this time of year. So we're right on par as we should be for the the, uh, temperatures this year and as you can see we do get a little bit of cloud cover as we go towards the evening hours we will get down into the 40s around 7 or 8 o'clock dipping down into the 40s once again by the time we hit midnight on Monday so it's going to be a really cold evening once again as you make those New Year's Eve plans bundle up because as we hit midnight it's going to be uh, mostly uh, cloudy across some portions of the Pine Belt but 44 degrees so it's going to be pretty cold out there you're going to want to bundle up just a little bit and then as we go throughout the first day of 2024 30% chance of rain mostly in the morning hours. Some sprinkles are possible as we go throughout the early morning hours of Monday, but we are going to get into the 50s for those daytime highs, so it's going to be a pretty nice day overall on Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. We're right at average for this time of year, but on Wednesday we dip down into 48 degrees. We're going to be in the high 40s for Wednesday, and then on Thursday we get back up into the 50s, so a little bit of a dip in temperatures as we go towards the weekend, and for the overnight lows, we're going to be to the 40s on Monday, that's the warmest overnight lows for the week. We're going to be to the 30s otherwise with frost possible as we start some of our early mornings this week. But for rain chances, we do have the sprinkle up. Uh chance for some sprinkles on Monday, Wednesday, a few chances of some showers as well. But as we go towards this weekend, we do have rain chances coming in once again. We're going to have a nice cool breeze throughout most of the week. But as we come towards about Saturday, you notice rain chances really roll in early on Saturday morning and into Saturday afternoon, possibly as well. But the system should move out of our way and we'll be left with a clear afternoon on Saturday after that. So how much rainfall are we looking for? Well, probably less than an inch for most of the belt as we go towards the week, but we'll keep you updated as we get closer to time on these showers for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day forecast looking pretty clear other than a few showers on Monday morning. After that, we'll, we'll be clearing out through Wednesday as those showers leave our area will be sunny after that.